steadiness starts early. Welcome to Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy, where you can learn to train your retriever with our online videos. So everyone wants to have a steady retriever. No one wants to have a dog that just absolutely goes out there and breaks and runs around and causes a mess. Uh, and a lot of people end up actually dealing with that, and it's not a fun thing to deal with. So the question is, really, how do you have a steady retriever? And as we said in the beginning, steadiness starts early. Ideally, it starts early. Uh, if you're on down the road a bit in your training, it, you're going to have your work cut out for you, but you can still have a steady retriever if you work at it. But let's talk about the early part, and then towards the end of this, I'll tell you if you've got a dog that's already older, that's already struggling with breaking, I'll give you some ideas on what you can do as well. But ideally, you want to start early on. Everything about your dog's life needs to incorporate steadiness. And steadiness is more than just sitting steady while a bumper is going off or while a bird is getting shot and waiting for it. Steadiness is literally every part of that dog's life. And so what that really looks like is as soon as you get your dog as a young puppy, you need to start instilling steadiness right away and making the dog wait to do what it wants to do. That's really what steadiness is. The dog has to wait and do what you want it to do instead of doing what it wants to do until you release it. And so early on, that can look like just by holding the food bowl over the dog's head and, and then waiting for the dog to sit and then working your way to where you can actually sit the food bowl all the way down and let your dog look at the food bowl and then you can tell it to eat on command and then it will go eat. That is a form of steadiness. Or another form of steadiness early on is when you're teaching it to be obedient and you're teaching your dog to walk by your side and to heal with you. And that's before you go out a door, instead of just having your dog bust out, that's having your dog remain steady at your side. And so that's a lot of the earlier stages there. But as you start to move forward and you start to move into retrieving, steadiness starts there too. You really don't want to do a lot of fun bumpers or very few of them hardly at all, other than when your puppy is very young and you're doing simple retrieves in the hallway, you really want to start instilling steadiness in the retrieving. And what that looks like is you, if your dog starts to break, you don't let them go. You, you have them on a lead and you make them sit and then they learn to wait. And then once they're calm, you can then release them. And that's going to start instilling that calmness is how they get rewarded. Calmness is going to lead to them being able to receive the retrieve, which is what they want. They want to go after it. It's naturally within the dog to go out and retrieve. So a lot of that start, starts very early on. And if you start instilling it early on and you keep maintaining that through your training, you're going to have a very, very steady retriever. And that's really the way we train in our programs. Everything, steadiness is literally incorporated throughout every single part of our programs because it's that important. Now, what if you're way on down the road, you've got a two, three-year-old dog, you've already done some training on it, it loves to retrieve, but what if it's just not quite as steady? What if it breaks a little? What do you do in that situation? Or maybe breaks even a lot. And so in that situation, you've kind of got to go back to the fundamentals. You've got to go back to the base and really start to evaluate your dog's life and what you allow it to do. Does your dog get to do a lot of what it wants to do? Even like we talked about early on, does it get to do what it wants to do before you tell it to? Are you making your dog wait for it to eat? Are you incorporating steadiness in training? Are you literally incorporating every single part of that dog's life and steadiness and it might not be what you think when you're out there training you might be going through the motions you might be rushing through getting through the retrieving because your dog and you are working good together it's having a blast but you're just doing tons of retrieves you can start incorporating more denial retrieves which is where you actually go out or you have someone else go out and then get the retrieves while the dog watches and you can literally slow your whole training pace down you can slow everything down to where you're going a lot slower that could look like you're just sitting there with your dog you throw the bumper out or you launch the bumper out and then you just sit there. Let your dog just watch and let it wait until it calms down and then reward it for it. Because if your dog's on edge and you're sitting in it every single time, it's going to be excited. And it's going to be something that can actually go against you if you don't work on that. So with an older dog, kind of go back to the basics. Work on your basic obedience. But also when you're training, think about it. How are you training? Are you going through everything quickly? Or are you being slow and deliberate, making sure that your dog listens to everything that you want it to do. If you'll take all those tips in mind, if you're at a place where you can, start early. If you're at a place where you're already down the road, your dogs are a little bit older, well, take those tips in mind. Go back to the basics and work hard on making your dog do what you want it to do before it gets to you. But then, when it does what you want it to do, reward it. So if you do all that, you'll have a steady retrieval.